Hello and welcome to how to use light channels. Now there are certain occasions in your game's development that you may find that you want to light certain objects but not have the light affect other objects around it. So I'm going to show you the use of light channels. So let's bring in a light for us here. I'm bringing a point light. And there we go. We've got point light. I'm going to change its color so it stands out a little bit over here. Next thing I'll do is I'll bring in a cube. So let's bring in a cube shape. And there it is. And you can see the red light is illuminating the cube just fine. Meanwhile, I do have a spotlight on here illuminating it with white light. But we can see the cube here clearly being lit by this red light. Okay. Now, this light here, I click on this and search the details here for light channels. You'll see you have light channels 0, 1, and 2. 0 is default on for everything. So that means everything's going to be affected by those lights. However, if I say to this light, hey, you can be on channel 1 this time, this means that it will now light up anything that's been also ticked on to react to channel 1. So if I go to this cube here, for example, and go to its light channels and turn off channel zero. You see it's now not being lit by either this light or the other light. But you can see now if I turn on channel one, we see that light coming in from our side light here. We can use these to great effect to create different sort of moods and, and motifs and also to, for gameplay purposes too. So let's give you a working example. Let's say I'm making a third person action game, especially a horror game. Now, the problem with third person games is that you want to be able to see your character. This is no good. What we currently have here, I cannot see my character unless I step into light. And even then, I'm still silhouetted unless I get in between the light and the camera. So what games typically do is they will light up the backside of the character so that they can see it in action. Let's go and show you how to do this. Let's go into our player character. And inside our player character, we're going to go to the viewport and add a point light to their back of their character mesh. In fact, let's do it on the camera boom here. I'm going to add a point light. Now, the trick for this is you do not want to put in a light that is way, way too bright. Okay, so you want to bring it in close to the character, near the shoulder blades roughly. But we're going to turn down the intensity from 5,000 to more like 50. So it's very subtle. Okay, that's the aim of this. Also, to help with this, I'm going to increase the source radius here to 100. And hit compile and save. Now, at the moment, if I let it just play, we'll see the back of our character just fine. But you can see that light is now going to also affect other objects near it, such as the wall here. Now, you, this will give us a weird shadow effect, which doesn't seem right. It looks like we've got like a firefly following a character, and I kind of don't like that. So how do we do this? Well, we use light channels. So let's go into our player character, click on this point light, search for the light channels options, and I'm going to turn off channel 0 on this and turn on channel 1. So now it won't affect anything in our scene because they're all set to channel 0. But I'll still want it to light up my character. So I go to a character's mesh and turn on channel 1. I still want to keep channel 0 on for the character's mesh because I still want the world lights to affect them as well. Hit compile, save, and then go back into my game. And now you can see I've got my character here clearly visible from the back, but not affecting anything in the environment around them. It's especially noticeable if you play horror games. Go check out Resident Evil or even play action games like God of War. You'll notice the characters' backsides are lit up so you can see them clearly. If you like this how-to video and want to see more, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early before everyone else. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. And I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.